In this video, I will show you how to effectively use Everbee for your Etsy store. I will be explaining on how you can link Everbee to your Etsy so that you can do your product research and keyword research very effectively. This video is for those who have not given Everbee ever a try, okay? And those who are still learning Everbee and for Etsy store owners who want to increase traffic on their products. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, sign up using the link down below for a free trial on Everbee. The first step that we're going to go through is to actually come to everbee.io, which is Everbee's main website. And over here, we're going to be creating an account, okay? So to create an account, you're going to go to the link in my description for an easier workout, okay? So go to the link in my description and sign up for an account using an email or your Etsy account. Using the link will allow you to get a free trial on your Everbree. Okay, now once you've done that, okay, you can also come here and click on try for free. Okay, or you could just scroll further down on this page to see the membership tiers. Okay, now basically, once you click onto the registration section over there, as I stated, you're going to see all the Everbee IO pricings and all the different types of plans that Everbee actually provides you. Now, obviously, these Everbee plans have different, obviously, concepts for themselves. So, first of all, obviously, there's the hobby plan, which is the zero plan, zero dollar per month plan, 10 analytic searches per month, review analytics, tags analytics, and no credit card absolutely required. Okay, so this is obviously the most basic and the most free plan that you can get for Everbee. Then obviously there's the pro plan for $7.99 per month, 30 analytics, review analytics, tags analytics, unlimited favorites folder uses. And then finally there's the growth plan where you get unlimited analytic searches per month, unlimited listing tags, unlimited revenue, unlimited favorites, additional listing data, additional shop data, and a whole lot more. So as you can see, different plans with different workings. Now, basically, once we've talked about that, let me also state that the hobby plan is free forever, okay? And the pro plan has obviously 30 analytic searches that you're gonna need, and the growth plan has your unlimited analytical searches. Now, once we've talked about that, we're gonna need to know that Everbee is a Chrome extension, and the best way to use it is by connecting it to your Etsy. So for the main audience, this means that the product researching will be a lot easier when they look out for products on their Etsy. So basically, when you are signed in with Etsy and all, what's going to happen is that it's going to take you to the main Etsy platform where it's going to get you, you know, logged in and everything. And over there on the left hand side of the screen will be the dashboard and find extension with a puzzle piece logo and click. Okay, so let me talk to you and let me show you what I am talking about. Now, this is what everything for you will look like. Okay, Etsy is gonna be opened up on this side and on the left-hand side, you're gonna see this stuff. Now, you're probably wondering, how will I get this stuff? Now, as I stated, when you're logged in or signed up on the left-hand side, you're gonna find extension. Or you could just simply come on your new tab and you're gonna write ever be extension. Okay, you're just gonna go ahead and write that for yourself. It's, you know, pretty simple. And once you do that over here, you can see Everbee Chrome extension. You're going to open that up. And once you open the Everbee Chrome extension up, what's going to happen is that you're going to get the option to add it on your Opera and a whole lot of other things. Now, I already have the Everbee extension. As you can see, I have it right here, but you can add it again. If you want to just click on add to Opera or add to Google, whatever you're using. And once you do that and you redirect yourself to Etsy while you know, being logged in with your account, this is how it's going to look like. Now, if I were to turn this off, okay, it's going to reload the Etsy page and look at that. It goes away and you can't really use it. Like if I click on it, interact with it, I can't really do that. As you can see, it's gone. But when I turn it back on, it's going to reload the page and everything is going to be set back to normal as so. So as you can see, really great and really incredible stuff. Now, let's move on to the other processes. So first of all, let's talk about product research. Now, once you set up an account and install Everbee as a Chrome extension, you can start searching for products and listings on Etsy with all the data that you need. Okay. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to log in with your Etsy account. Okay. 
So uh, once you've logged in and once you're into your Etsy account and Etsy store, you're going to click the search bar to type a product's name over here. OK, make sure your Everbee is opened up. So let's say I'm going to search for Notion templates. OK, so here we go. Notion templates. And in the search results, there will be a little B logo, which shows you the monthly searches for that items, as you can see. So, you know, 301, 911, 128, and a whole lot more. So obviously we're on the different plans, so it gives us locks on these, but you get the point. You get the monthly searches. Now, let's say we're gonna select an item with the highest monthly search and explain. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. Now, I should tell you that when you're choosing your words, you should not go for items or keywords with very low monthly searches. I just personally would prefer that. Now, let's go into finding the product analytics, okay? So once you hover to the left hand side menu, under the Everbee logo, you can see product analytics over here. Now, if you click on product analytics, it will take you to the listings, okay? The product listings under Notion templates, the word that we searched. Now, once you do that, you'll be able to see the prices, the monthly sales, the monthly revenue, total sales, revenues, reviews, and much, much more. And they're all in a section like this that are categorized as so, as you can clearly see. You can also filter out which categories you want to untick. So simply go to the right side of the screen over here and click on filters. And look at that. You're going to see all these filters with uh, all these things. And you can also go ahead and click on customize. Okay. And once you go on customize, you can untick the categories that you don't want to see. Let's say I don't want to see the views. And once you untick the views and I don't want to see the shop name. Now, once you do these things, it's obviously going to automatically remove those things from here. Now, you can also check out products with a lot of monthly sales, monthly revenue and total sales. You know, make sure to also check how long has it been listed for the reviews, shop age and many more for better working on your Etsy store. Now, there's also the visibility score. OK, so the visibility score in, uh, you know, retrospect of Etsy is the higher, the better. OK, when your visibility score is extremely high, you could tell that, yeah, this product, it's, it's booming. It's really popular. It's a really fun. It's a really niche product. Now, when someone searches for, you know, example, notion templates and it pops up then that's an absolutely great thing. So the visibility score is pretty good and high. Conversion rate is also something to check out. The higher the conversion rate means that when people see it in their searches, it results in a sale, which is going to be absolutely amazing for you. You can also check the average prices, monthly sales and favorites. Now, how to see more data about a certain product for yourself? OK, to be able to see more data, you may click a product listing and it will show you the detailed and more organized data. So let's say we have a product listing over here. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Studio Ghibli themed, let's say planner or notion template. So there we go. Studio Ghibli themed dashboard notion template. We open that up. Now, as you can see, it gives us more detailed and organized data. You'll be able to see the tags, OK, which keywords have the highest search volume and the trend graph. So obviously the trend graph helps you to see which trend really works and you can see trendy stuff online and all that. You can also select keywords with the highest search volumes. OK, so you can come down here and these keywords can have great volumes, great competition and a whole lot more. Obviously, the higher the volume for search, higher the competition. This means that there is a high demand for it and people search it the most. And make sure to copy these words and include them into your own listing. Granted that it's in the same niche. OK, now let's talk about going for the keyword score. Now, still on Etsy, you're going to hover to the left hand side of the screen under the Everbee logo to access your dashboard. Now, you're going to go ahead and select keyword research and search for keywords in the search bar. Now, in our case, uh, what we're going to be doing is obviously we're going to go with Notion template. OK, the previous. So once you search this up in the overview, you'll be able to see the search volume and competition for this keyword. So, for example, the search volume is high, but the competition is higher. This is a no, no, we do not want that. So search volume is 911, but the competition is even higher and the keyword score is 80. And over here, you can see the related words to this with different types of competitions and scores. Now, to find more about the keyword, click customize over here and tick competition and keyword score. OK, make sure those are ticked. And once you do that, the results will show you a bunch of related keywords 
and you want to focus on the amount of competition and keyword score. So basically, a bad keyword has a very high competition with a very low search volume and a keyword score. So I would suggest going for keywords with a very high keyword score and a high keyword search volume and relatively low competition. Now, let's also learn on how you're going to improve your own listings. So again, you're going to hover to the left hand side over here and you're going to go ahead and click on my listings to view the data of listings under your shop. Now you're going to see the average sales and which listings perform the best for you. Okay. A whole lot of things over here up in these boxes. Now you're going to focus on the visibility score of these things. Okay. Now again, to focus on the visibility score, you're going to click the products with the highest decent visibility score and to see why the product is performing really well to figure out a strategy to use for your other products. Now, I currently don't have any products in my Etsy store, but once you do, they're going to appear down here. And obviously the one with the highest visibility score, you're just going to click on them to get all the statistics about them. Also, make sure to check your products with the lowest visibility score and see the underperforming keywords. So make sure to take notes of the words that are performing really well and vice versa. Now, one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to make use of the favorites tab over here. The favorites tab isn't just to save certain listings you're eyeing out for it. By clicking the favorites tab in your dashboard and clicking tag analyzer up here on the right hand side of the screen, you'll be able to see every single tag in all of the listings under favorites. So if I open this up, obviously it takes authentication. Now, currently, obviously, I'm not on the plan to run that. So obviously, it's giving me this thing. But if you're on the plan, as I stated, you're going to be able to get all of the tags that are going to be under these listings. Now, again, I'm also going to click on customize. And once you do that, you're going to go ahead and tick competition and keyword score to see which ones are actually worth saving. Now, once we've you know discussed all the features, let's talk about how great Everbee really is. Now, Everbee is extremely useful for your product researching and keyword researching. Okay. As you saw, I took you through all the different product analytics. It works amazingly with Etsy and all the products that you can search on. It can work well with your shop as well. You can get all the product analytics. You can do great keyword research. Okay. And you could also get all your listings and favorites in one place. Everbee saves a lot of time for you when you're working with Etsy stores. It's a very simple tool that can be used by anyone out there. The free plan is free forever. The cost is absolutely zero dollars and you will never be charged for the free plan. Okay, because it's not a trial. It's a whole plan and the interface of the basic Everbee dashboard is extremely simple and easy to follow and very user friendly. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now, if you want to try out Everbee again, I will leave my personal link in the description, which will allow you to use Everbee's free plans. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel because that surely helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.